Credit cards are a form of revolving lines of credit that you can use for everyday purchases. The average household pretty much have at least four credit cards. Credit cards can be beneficial and having more than one can have some benefits if you know how to use credit cards to your advantage. Depending on your finances, your overall goals in general, and your preferences in life, here's a few things you might want to consider. Number one, credit cards oftentimes have different values of rewards, points, and things of that nature. I did a video on that a few weeks ago. But keep in mind, even though if you're getting rewards and points, if you don't know how to use them properly, they may be winning based on the fact that you have high usage and you're not paying it off. They're going to make more money offered you in interest versus you actually benefiting from the points or the rewards. It has to make sense, right? You'll get points and rewards, but if you don't know how to use them properly, you will more than likely end up spending more money than what you've gained from the points or the rewards. As mentioned, the second benefit is being able to get approved for more lines of credit. The higher your credit limit, the better opportunity it is, and it keeps you from maxing the card out. If you only have a credit limit of $200, by the time you get some groceries, by the time you get some gas, you've pretty much almost reached 50% of the available line of credit, which in, that, which in turn will drop your score. Keep in mind, those small credit card limits really are just credit building accounts. You really don't have much to use them for. And by the time you use it, if you don't pay it off and you only pay, make the minimum due, it actually can drop your credit scores and in turn won't be beneficial. Another benefit is having a backup method. This is the third option. Here's the thing you need to understand. Whenever you are traveling, instead of using your bank card or anything like that, you can use your credit card in turn in replace of having to use your credit card will allow for you not to have your personal banking information displayed. And in the event that you are traveling and you don't want to have to get a car replaced because if it's lost or stolen, you haven't used your bank account information. You're using your credit card and usually you have security, which a protection um, in the event that something has happened to the account, you usually are protected in most cases, depending on the circumstances. 99% of the time when I've had something happen to my car, if there's any fraudulent activity or if it's lost or stolen, I'm usually well taken care of because they understand that those things can happen with those types of credit cards. But you have to be careful because it's also depending on how the credit card was used and those sorts. So you have to be real cautious about how you take in use of credit cards. Because yes, in most cases, they will refund you if it's a fraudulent case. But if your cousin was at your house and you mentioned that and say, hey, my cousin took my credit card and used it, then they're going to be looking to you to actually go to your cousin to get your money back or pursue legal action against that person. So it's all about how the card was used whenever you want to report a fraud. Keep that in mind. The fourth reason that credit cards are beneficial. When you have multiple cards and you're paying them on time and you have a good history it definitely shows the credit bureaus that you are managing your accounts and that you're doing well. In turn, you may get better opportunities with lower rates, balance transfers options for 0% and 3% different options that you'll get based on the history. The more accounts you have, that's how you get your scores to 800. You don't get to 800 scores by having one or two accounts. So if your goal is to get your score as high as possible and the highest, eights or even possibly a 900 score. I don't know anyone with a 900 credit score, but I've definitely reached the eights in the mid 800s. And I tell you, it wasn't something that was easy to obtain. It takes time to get that far. And it's all based on your history, not necessarily because you're making your payments on time. It has a lot to do with how you're making your payments. How are you utilizing those cards? Last but not least, when you get credit cards, you have to make sure you use them wisely. That's an issue we run into with a lot of people. When you get credit cards, you have to use them responsibly. Yes, you can benefit from the credit cards and it can really help you to have a different lifestyle and help you be able to do things you probably would not be able to do. But if you're not using them wisely and your credit scores drop because of your usage, then you're not benefiting from the point of having the credit cards because credit cards can save you from a lot of headache and pain during a hardship. But it's not to be used as if you're going shopping sprees and wasting money that you cannot really afford to pay back. So take that into consideration and make sure you use your credit wisely so that you can build better scores so that you can do an investment or buy a home based on your facts of life. Enjoy. Enjoy.